Hey guys, this is Vicki. Wanted to share with you a um, haul that I've done. I have um, done some online hauls. Um, basically, I haven't gone to any stores, just online. Um, it's been about a month or so, maybe a little longer or shorter since I've done a video. I've just been busy with work, trying to uh, do some we're doing some remodeling in our bathroom, so I'm having to get supplies and get all that stuff, and that's how my weekends have been spent, is at Home Depot or at Lowe's and um, getting things like that. And by the time I come home from work, I, I wanna craft, but I just can't, I'm tired, and the evenings go by so fast, so hopefully um, that may be changing. I may be uh, deciding to, um, quit the workforce and stay home. Um, I've been at my job for about 32 years and things are changing there and I think it's maybe time for me to leave. So, and I wanna be able to stay home for a little while and do some crafting and get caught up and spend some time with my grandson. But anyway, let me um, share with you a haul that I did online. And the first haul is from a uh, Facebook group that I am in and uh, I can't remember the name of the group I think it's called scrapbook deals or something like that but the lady was selling these um, Copic markers for uh, four dollars each let me zoom in here four dollars each and it was just what she had there and th these are some of the uh, uh, Copics I didn't have and I think I've got this one but I might place another order and get some more um, and go through my Copic list and see what I have and what um, or what I don't have so I can place an order. These were only $4 a piece and that's not bad. Um, and I got this here. This is a Sizzix Framelip by David Tutera, Tutora or Tutera, however you say his name. And these were only $4, I mean, excuse me, $5. And normally they're like ten dollars at Hobby Lobby so if not more in other places so I got this one and this one each five dollars and I placed another order and it should be here either today or tomorrow and it's more framelits that I was wanting um, there's another flower one that I got which I thought they were pretty so I got that and I got these cute uh, Julie Nutting stamps they're for your planner. I I like them just for like maybe using them on a tag. I tried the planning thing. I thought about buying another planner, but I can't keep up with it with work and trying to make time to write things down. And sometimes it's just better for me to use my uh, phone um, um, calendar, you know, where you can set the events on your phone to remind you. But anyway, so I got this one here. It's Holiday Bliss. I know I have another one like this. I don't think it's the same one. I think it's the other one, but I'm hoping it's not a duplicate. So I got that. And then lastly, I got this die here. And this is the Jen Long um, Mason jar. It's a thinlet. And I need to take all the stuff, my dies. I've been, I like to keep them in these plastic um, envelopes they come in but eventually they tear so I take them out of there and use the magnetic strips and put them in the big envelopes uh, clear uh, clear packaging that you can order online so um, I'm trying to stock up on things that I need which I didn't need these but <laughs> I'm trying to stock up on things that um, like my magnets for my dies and stuff like that so when I do uh, eventually quit work. I'll kind of have that stuff on hand and not have to go out and be buying it. Um, next, I have a haul from Hobby Lobby. I saw these. These were 40% uh, off or 50% off when I got these. They're the his and hers. Um, they're, it's called Diamond Confetti. And so these were like $4.99 or $2.99. I can't remember, but I got them on sale on 50% off. And they're normally $5.99, so I got that color, and I got this color. I love that color. It's so pretty. And then, um, and I got these because I saw where people were using them in their uh, shakers. So I thought, great. And then here's another one I got. 
get it out of the box. This one is the, it's Diamond Confetti. Well, they're all called Diamond Confetti. And um, it's cute. So I got that. And then next, I got these here. These are also from His and Hers. They are uh, wood hearts. And I saw where somebody, I can't remember her name. I think it's Create to Create. She used the hearts and she put, um, paper over them with the uh, Mod Podge and she made them look really cute with um, as embellishments so I thought those are great so I thought I'd pick up a pack and these were on 50% off too when I bought them online so that was half off and then um, Sizzix was having their uh, Sizzix stuff and dyes on sale 40% off so I picked up some uh, foam adhesive and um, I thought those were cute and I saw where people were like like here they're using images to cut them out and then you can just pop them up so I figured why not so I'm trying to stock up on these and you get three of them at but I got those and I'm trying to stock up on these and then next um, let me see what I have in here nope and I'm trying to stay away from AliExpress. I've seen really cute videos with people doing hauls from AliExpress and temptation, but I'm trying to do good and not spend any money really if I don't have to. And I've got plenty of dyes, so, but I still might put a place in order, who knows. Anyway, I saw this cute dye, this Sizzix uh, Thin Lits boot. So this was 40% off and um, this was $5.99. Like I said, it was 50% uh, off that, so it was probably, what, $9.99, $10, something like that. So I got that. And the reason I got this was because I saw the Simon Says uh, stamp, I mean, yeah, the April st um, card kit, and it had a boot, and when I went to go buy that, it was gone. So I thought the only way for me to get that boot, because uh, they were sold out, was to get the uh, card kit so I did and I'll show you that here in a minute here is also this Biggs die um, this is the heart three hearts it comes in three different sizes everything that I got I wasn't gonna buy anything till I saw the haul videos where Sizzix had I mean Hobby Lobby had their Sizzix stuff 40% off and I knew I wouldn't make it there Saturday because it was closed so I went ahead and placed an order that Saturday and then it got here like that following Thursday so that was pretty quick so that's that and okay and then lastly let me sh oh and then one more thing and then here's another uh, stamp that I saw I wanted a gingham stamp and I was looking at Simon Says and they had them and I had it in my cart and when I went back later that day, it, they were sold out because they were having a sale on their stamps. So I found this stamp here and um, I got it off Amazon. And I can't remember how much it was, but it was cheap. It was like $10, $11 or something like that, if not not as much. But and uh, I'm a Prime member, so that kind of came quick. So I got that on Amazon. And then lastly, here is my Simon Says, let me cover this, my Simon Says um, order that I've got. Look at how cute, how cute that is. Can you see that? But that was adorable. It says, thank you for your Simon Says order. So anyway, this is what it looks like. You get this. I've kind of gotten into it already. It came in this... Um, in this paper bag and it had its um, this little piece of uh, sticker here so I took it out and this I'll save because you can always use that for something and you get stickers you get um, look some foam I guess you can pop it up two things of stickers some envelopes and then you get a sucker and then you get these really cute papers to make a card with. And then these would be really cute even in a um, 
in a, uh, God, I can't even think, frame, in a frame. So look at how cute, and I love the colors, and that's why I didn't hesitate on buying this, um, this stamp, this, or this kit, because um, I wanted it for this, which look at that, look at how big it is. So I thought, you can't beat that. And then you get the, um, Simon Says, and this is a big stamp. I mean, um, yeah, stamp set. I don't have a ruler down here, I don't think. But um, it's pretty big. So, and you get that, it's all springing. You can use these with different ways, and I love that. That was cute. And then you get the Nouveau. Um, these are new. I've seen people use them, and... I thought, wow, so you get that, and this color is, gosh, what is it? Bohemian teal is what it's called. And it comes, and it's great that they pack them like that so they don't, um, what do you call it, tear, I mean, break while they're in shipping and get all over your stuff. This is, it's pretty small. And you get that. Look at how pretty. So, and then you get the cardstock. And the cardstock is one, two, three, four. So you can make cards out of these. So I'm going to attempt to make some cards. Because, you know, I need to get back into doing what I love. And that's what I like doing is making cards. So, anyway, that's my haul. I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing to my channel. Um, today I'm off from work. I had, we're having, I said, some remodeling done and floor had to come and be delivered today and somebody had to be home and yay, it was me. So I got everything ready and I decided to come down here and spend a little time in my craft room. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a great day and bye for now.